What is going on, everybody? Back with another one. Let's hop right into it. Hopefully, it will not make this video too long for you guys. But you saw from the title of the video, which is called Letting It Go. And this is really specific to anyone who's just gone through, going through tragedy, a trauma, something, just something where it completely has changed the trajectory of your life that you didn't expect. It kind of came out of left field, as most of the time it happens. And I know it did for me. Like I said, you know, I can go down a list of things. But of course, the most recent one, which is losing my mother to cancer. And that has been something that you never get over it. Everybody processes something like that differently. A few people have reached out that they're, go that they're going through the same thing. And they all process it differently. And I just try to, hey, just kind of give mom markers and, hey, maybe you should think about this at this moment. Or, you know, you're, go you're going to think these things at this particular moment. But once again, everybody processes it differently. But I'm at a mom marker now. And it's something that I've been battling with and something that maybe you guys out there are battling with, depending on where you are in it, about just letting it go. I know for me, when I would say, OK, I need to let it go. I need to put that to rest. I was always battling with it because for me, it sounded like I'm trying to forget. I'm trying to throw it away, throw that, that issue away, throw that person away, throw that time away. And that's not the case at all. But it's just now I need to come to that understanding and to rid myself of having really a, still holding on to a victim mindset and understand like, look, it has happened to you. These things did happen to you. You can list a ton of things. I can list so many things about the tragedy and the negative and what is done for me on, on a bad side. But I started to really think about what has it done for me on a positive side? What are the lessons I've been able to get? And these lessons wouldn't have happened unless something like that did happen to me and previous things before. You know, for some reason, losing somebody, losing people has been like a theme in my life. I can go down a list of losing family members, losing friends, you know, losing, you know, in front of me, having to hear it through other relatives or other friends. So it's been something I've been constantly just dealing with, dealing with, dealing with. Losing parents, I lost my father. Losing parents is a whole different beast. But I came to a realization that it is, you do have to let go. And you're letting go of the victim mindset as well. And this is speaking from my experience. You'll never get over it. It will always be there. You're going to have moments of being sad. You're going to have moments of, you know, just you're mad. You're angry. Yes, those things are never going to go away. But understanding where it's coming from, why, and then knowing how to harness it. One of the ways I harness it now is by sharing it with you guys. Sharing with anybody out there who needs to listen to it. Anyone who, if it can reach one person, two people, you know, 2,000 people, I still treat it the same way. And I won't be able to, and I wouldn't be able to truly do that unless I do let go, unless I move from victim mindset. Just like I say, let's move from scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. You know, so I'm moving away from that victim mindset, victim mindset. And I'm allowing this now to empower me. And it should allow you, and it should empower you as well. I've gotten emails from quite a few people, still receiving them. People are going through a lot of different things. You don't know this person's going through it. And a lot of times this person is keeping it bottled up. They don't know how to express themselves. They don't know what to do, what to say, what to think, because it's new. We're not, you're not trained for something like this. But the more you are able to express yourself, let it out, the more you can let it go. The more I'm able to express it, put it out there, be transparent about it, the more I've been able to come to grips with, okay, letting it go. Not forgetting, you know, if anything, I remember more of the good things. When I'm holding on to it and kind of keeping that victim mindset and almost sometimes using it as a crutch if I'm not careful, I'm thinking about the negative. I wish I would have. 
I should have, they should have done all these things. When I shifted it and I let it go, now it's like I'm holding on to positive moments. Well, I was there for the very end. We do have a slew of memories, you know. She does know how much I love and care for her, you know, all of that. And then also, I can now share it to someone who needs it, who needs to hear it, who is going through whatever it may be. And you just need to know, like, look, there's hope. You can get through this. It's going to take time. It's going to take resilience. It's going to take discipline. <sighs> but you can get through it. And I promise you that. Because I, I was at a point where I didn't think. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is who I'm going to be forever. Like, there's just no way I can get out of this. Like, how? You know, just steps by steps, steps, steps. And now it, it empowers me. Perspective is different. Your perspective changes like immediately forever, but perspective is different. How I view things, view people, view relationships, view life. Let's go. <laughs> now it's just about, I let it go and let's, let's go. Whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that we got. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I, I like the plans. Okay, let's at least, we got, we got the first step. Okay, that's all you need to know. Let's get to it. Because there's this false sense that time, you know, we're so ego-driven. We think time is promised. We're really going to be here tomorrow. We hope, we pray that we can, we'll be here tomorrow, but we really don't know. Because I got a phone call and that phone call completely shifted tra the trajectory of my life forever. And I didn't think I would get that phone call. So your tragedies, you can use it to empower you, can fuel you, and then you can help others. But first, you got to help yourself, you know, but first you got to get to a level to where, okay, um, I understand, I know, I feel, I get it, and continue to build, because this isn't one and done, this is going to be a lifelong journey, lifelong growth, just like with working out, just like with jujitsu, just like with everything we're talking about on this channel. It's a constant. We're constantly, constantly, constantly getting better, growing, adapting, moving, embracing. So I don't want to keep you guys too much longer. Wanted to share that. More videos on the way. Let's go.